Hi guys, John Knutson here with Knutson Consulting. I want to quickly show you a program that's on your Mac called Time Machine. What is it and how do you use it? Time Machine is a backup program on your computer that you can activate uh, once you buy an external hard drive. And anymore, they're not really that expensive uh, given their abilities. Uh, external hard drives can be purchased fairly inexpensively from any major uh, retailer. And then all you do is you plug it into the USB port and, uh, and set up Time Machine. It's very easy to do. Time Machine is found. Uh, all the settings are found in System Preferences. We click on System Preferences and here it is under System. We just click on Time Machine and here are the options. Once you plug in the USB port, you switch on Time Machine and it walks you through the on-screen prompts. Real easy. And then it begins to back up your computer. Uh, usually one backup every day. And so once the, the backup has been turned on, then it re starts to remember the files and the changes that have been made uh, to those files, and it, it keeps a running record of those into the past. Now, a great way to show you how to use Time Machine is just to give you a good example. A couple of days ago, there was a picture file on my desktop, and I, I trashed it. I don't need it anymore. But then today I realized, you know, I'd like to have that picture back because uh, I want to do something else with it. And instead of trying to go and find that picture or something similar, I'm just going to go back into Time Machine and get that photo. So I would click on, I, I knew that file was in my, was sitting on my desktop, so I'm going to click on Finder and click on Desktop. And this is essentially my desktop folder. It's every file that's sitting on my desktop, which is nothing right now. I try and keep my desktop clean, so there's nothing on my desktop. Uh, but I knew that that photo was sitting on my desktop for the better part of a day uh, or longer. And so I'm going to try and go back into Time Machine and, and see if it saved that photo. Once we open the file that we knew that, fi that that picture was in or that Word document was in, open that uh, folder and leave it open on your desktop and then enter Time Machine. Remember, Command Spacebar is our spotlight, um, is our spotlight shortcut. And then we just type in Time Machine and click return once we find that program. And Time Machine is going to open up and begin to run. This is Time Machine and on the right hand side you can see all of my backups that I've had all the way back to May 2010. If I had to go that far back two years I could uh, if I absolutely needed to. But I know it was just a couple of days ago. So I'm just gonna go down here onto the timeline and look. Okay, not yesterday but Pretty sure maybe Wednesday was the day that that picture uh, was sitting there. So I'm going to click on that one. And it's going to take me into the past and show the desktop on Wednesday. And sure enough, there was the picture that I was looking for. And so I just highlight that photo that I uh, had on Wednesday and I click Restore. And it will take that picture and it will put it in today's current desktop folder and conveniently back on my desktop. Uh, which is where it was originally. And so now I can double click on this uh, photo and I can use this picture, you know, for whatever reason that I needed to use it. Um, instead of it being deleted permanently, here it is sitting on my desktop. I hope this has been helpful. Time Machine is a great tool, uh, especially if, you know, say you have a problem with a hard drive and you need to go back into the past and find the files. Maybe you lost something, maybe somebody deleted something. Maybe a child figured out what the delete button does. Uh, you know, whatever the reason, if Time Machine is running, it will remember your files, and then you can simply go back into the past and restore them. No sweat. I hope it's been helpful, and we'll catch you next time.